Republicans are the ones. I don't care. I, I want to know, you know what did you, why did you vote for the Oval Office? For them to waive? Right. That's my I'll, question. I'll, That's I'll the only that question. I'll cover that the list. other was, was suppose and praise. This is simply my question. I didn't want a question on the debt. I I'll talk it. some I more about it. it because it's the Republicans that have a plan on the table to fix the problem. Uh, there is no You've plan. You've already told us that. Wait, 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 I want to speak with you. Oh, that. just a minute. I need to address her issue on the uh, smacking down the job creators. No, I didn't have that, that issue. You're That's reading into what I do here. Well, I've got a bit of what I'm saying. You go read the bill. What We have a comprehensive energy plan. We have a new ministry of health that addressed conservation, being responsible with our regulation. It's an all of the above approach to address the issue uh, that you're referring. That was not the best way uh, to do that. I support instead the Newman's plan and would uh, invite you to check that out, if, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, does a military retirement, does that come under the non-discretionary military? The military what? Retirement. Yeah. It is in the no, discretionary. It is in yeah. the discretionary. Yeah. Was well, anyone doing anything about that? Because, I mean, I'm sure there's probably some re retirees here, or people that had 20 years there. And, because I know my brother did, I didn't. But. Anyway, as they, after the 20 years, when they start drawing that retirement, I was just wondering how come they don't have to wait till 65, like the rest of us do, to get our Social Security checks and whatever, in order to start to then draw that retirement. Instead, right after 20 years. Uh, I'm probably sure it probably goes with you guys too up there. Right after you get out of have so much time, and you draw your retirements. Uh, well, yeah, I go, uh, eight years you know, or something. Yeah, because, because you know, as we pay for ours, we also pay for yours, and I don't think it's you know, in our best interest to have you draw it that early. Yeah. We have Social Security, which is what I think they changed that uh, maybe in the 80s. So members of Congress just have the same thing that everybody else has, but we have a, a, a pension plan we can contribute to like a major corporation. If you're lucky enough to work for a, a, a major corporation that has one. Uh, the military, uh, you know, that's always a, con a, a concern, but on both sides, you know, people that have given uh, the ultimate and, and have put themselves on the front line. Hey, you know, I, I don't disagree with you there, but I would say, and this is just uh, a guess, is that probably 80 90 percent of those people have never had a bullet whiz by their head? Uh, I'm not suggesting there aren't need, uh, we don't need to look at it. There aren't some reforms that are necessary, uh, but I, I certainly uh, do not want to take away anything from the people that have uh, put their lives on the line for the freedoms that we are expressing today, our ability to well, be here and speak our mind. Uh, I'm going to change the subject a little bit about regulation. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a small farmer, uh, I specialize in various things, and I'm also a scientist and a teacher, and I kind of know my trade. I grow medicinal herbs, and I market them locally. And uh, I got visited by the FDA uh, last fall, mm -hmm. who advised me that new regulations <coughs> came into in, in, effect which basically meant that if I can't do what the big guys do and spend thousands and thousands of dollars in all the quality control and all the monitoring, quality testing, and individual component testing and all the blah, 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 that I can't do my business. And uh, I sold nine herbal tincture products. And the new regulations would require me to spend about $15,000 to get each of those qualified. All the SOPs and all the tracking and all the paperwork that I would have to do. And they advised me that if I continued, I would be heavily fined. Now, the interesting thing is that they're bullying me because I sold it from the state and the FDA does not have jurisdiction on sales of farm products in the state. Now, this is the law, and it's not likely to change because you can't tell the FDA what to do, you can just change the law. We just passed a law called the Food Safety Modernization Act, and that's going to do the same thing. It's going to make it impossible for small farmers to market their products, and I would like to know what you think about that. Uh, and did you vote for that bill? No. Uh, I, I 
think you just made the case better than I could for the uh, regulators being off the chain and in many cases skirting uh, the legislative process. If they can't get you know, cap and trade through the Congress, they just implement it uh, through the regulation. And I think that should be concerning to everyone. Uh, and uh, we, we just need to get the, the, the boot of the regulator off of our uh, small business uh, men and women's neck. I mean, when you hear stories about uh, them regulating dust, and that a milk spill is equivalent to some hazardous waste spill. <coughs> I don't know what planet uh, they're uh, living on. I mean, it just makes Not sense. Not fair to keep up. No. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to mention this that, that uh, yeah. I hear a lot of people we'll talk about things. I never hear this in the Congress. I hear it from the experts in the, in the Department of Energy, and I hear it from the petroleum people. I hear it all over the place is where our economy is going. And there's, a, there's not a gorilla in it. There's a problem of source in it. And this is called peak oil. Where we're going into a phase of energy production. That doesn't mean we're going to run out of oil. But our whole economy, everything we do, everything that, the, everything we're standing on, everything that we have on our bodies are manufactured from petroleum products. And we're we're like a imagined drunk uh, drunk on oil. And we have no plan to change course. The thing is, you know, I hear people talking about when does drill more? What you're asking the people in our economy to do is violate the first law of thermodynamics. You cannot create energy out of nothing. All the energy we get comes now from the sun. And what we're using now as petroleum is ancient sunlight. And it's going to be used up. It's like a bank account. We're drawing the money out. But there's no plan to change the way we do things. We should be rebuilding roads. We should be putting in light rail. Uh, uh, high speed, low speed rail systems, getting people closer to where they work, uh, you know, tax luxury items. Uh, we want some revenue to get it that way. The point is, is in 50 years, I'll guarantee that your children won't be driving cars because they won't be able to afford to. And I think that's a fact. And nobody's planning for that. You're, you're right, energy uh, should have been addressed uh, decades ago, uh, not now. And you know, there was a big attempt uh, last Congress to do the cap and trade, but they couldn't even get that through. Uh, so uh, we do have a plan, the Nunes, you might check out the Nunes bill, give me your feedback on that. You know, it isn't all of the above. Uh, we're not going to solve it uh, with one uh, magic bullet. We need to conserve. But nobody wants well, we have to talk about it. It's just like uh, the budget situation. We don't have a choice. We've, we've got to do something. We've got a problem. Um, I wanted to talk about health care for healthy Arizona for a minute. And I know I don't believe you were a supporter of that. But right. it, um, I don't know if, if Congress understands that the implementation of that, what a negative impact that's been on um, with, the, um, with the health insurance companies and with what doctors are recommending um, uh, for patients to actually have done. And it is just a mess. I mean, somewhere Congress needs to address um, how that's actually been implemented. And I guess I'd like to hear some of your thoughts of how the Congress is moving forward on that or if there's anything being done at this point. Well, I would agree it's kind of a mess right now because obviously uh, the president got his health care bill passed last year uh, and it is the law of the land and uh, Captain Sebelius and uh, her department are moving, marching forward uh, and implementing it. Uh, the problem is, is in the courts there is a very high likelihood uh, that it could be deemed unconstitutional as an appellate court found uh, this last week in Atlanta, Georgia. And so it, it, it will either do one of two things. Uh, it will be decided, you know, in the Supreme Court, probably, I would think, within uh, a year or 18 months. And, um, you know, many experts, I'm not a constitutional attorney. I, I don't know, but many are telling me uh, it's very likely the individual mandates unconstitutional. Uh, therefore, if that, even that one piece is found to be unconstitutional, the whole bill unravels. So uh, there's that concern. 
and then it is it still remains very unpopular nationwide and so many are thinking if this president would be a one-term president we would re repeal it and replace it as the house has expressed its desire to do uh, and, and we just see it differently uh, we believe uh, the issue of health care reform can be addressed uh, a different way a better way uh, to control the cost while all the while uh, getting every american covered by health care so you know we really uh, it is a mess we see doctors fleeing uh, right now because you know they've done their community service they're not going to work for free uh, anymore, and that's concerning to me as a rural kid. You know, my parents uh, are on the farm in the Holden. My dad's got Alzheimer's, he's an amputee. I don't want them to have to drive a long ways to, uh, to get coverage of medical care. Uh, but it, it, you know, they could very well lose their uh, dog because of the mess in this transition. So I'm, I'm just deeply hoping that or a change. I don't know. I, that's not much help, but that's where we are today. Yeah, the problem is, is that people who are caught in the trap in the meantime, right. you're talking about 18 to 24 months before anything may even happen. And I mean, that's the problem. Yeah, it's a really tricky situation. Yeah, it's, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we'll change the subject on you a little bit. Sure. Uh, we're worrying about debt. But the first thing we got to do is save our country, and it's about to go under. There's only one thing that's going to straighten it out. I know you've heard the words, Glass Steagall, 1489. It's got to be put in real soon, or this country will not be the country we've known it to be. What are you referring? You'll have to educate. The banking law. Oh. Put the investment banks over where they belong, and our little local banks are protected by Glass Steagall. Oh, Glass Steagall. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It's been tested. Uh, don't try to tell me the part of it won't work because it's been tested for over 60 years from 33 to 99 when Clinton signed it away. No one's talking about that really right now. Uh, we just well, keep that's sure. the most important thing we're facing this country today. Yeah. 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 That needs to be taken care of next well, week. We'll, we'll go back and uh, so when take I get a look at it. I want you to give this guy over here a chance. I'd like to see what these young people think. Absolutely, sure. We, we have time for two more questions. Thank you. Okay. Well, we'll I'm going to go with, I'm going to make the first and I'm going to go with an actual question. Um, first, a couple times Obama's given a budget. First one got laughed out of the set pretty much. The second one, central box office says we don't score. Now, we hear in September is going to be coming out with a budget. Is it likely to be, an, is he actually starting to get serious about this stuff? Am I actually, not, am I actually come up with some sort of idea? Or is it going to be his usual mantra of corporate jet owners, millionaires and billionaires, all the other? It's going to be the same. Oh, come on. I think, yeah, I it's, it's anybody's guess at this point, but yeah, he's been very reluctant to put anything on paper. I was afraid of that. Well, whose responsibility is it to come up with the budget? Well, the president's supposed to, and not the president. He's not supposed to leave from no, behind. He's not, he's not supposed to come up with the budget. Read okay, we're going to let somebody else. Okay, okay. Uh, they I'll, did. I'll, I'll talk pretty quickly. Um, a year ago, last July, I went to your office because I had a lot to say and I didn't want to take all the time to read an email. And I asked one of your staffers to listen to me and to write down my concerns. And you did get back to me, and I thank you. Most of us know you're working hard for trying to make a fix of things. A number one concern is the rapid ex escalation of prices and goods and services. When I retired four years ago, I was paying Blue Cross and Blue Shield $307. Today I'm paying $539. Almost I have Blue Cross Blue Shield. Um, I've got 31, I have 31 years in, in public education as a public servant as a school psychologist, so I understand the psychology and also government. I am that college too. Um, 
So I think that your plans are not going to work unless we get something to help with the goods and services. Every single thing that 